Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Angel. I'm a director of photography and DI Clarist based here in Mumbai, India. So let's quickly jump to the computer and let's get started. Okay, so I have this video and um, originally it did not have any background music. But for this example, because you're talking about audio, I have put up uh, another track which has a background music downloaded from YouTube library. Now, uh, let's begin this video and, and you can see that it begins with the montage. So in the very beginning, I might want to keep the background music a little louder like it is right now. Let's play. Right here, if I keep the volume at the same level of the background music, then my dialogue won't be that clearly audible to you guys. So here I want to duck the audio of my background music. So this is my dialogue track, right? And this is my audio or my music basically. So as you can see, when you click on any audio layer, you will see the inspector setting will have the audio functions here. At the moment, my volume is at minus 2.20 decibels. So decibel is a unit of measurement uh, for audio, right? Now, uh, it, it could have been zero, but uh, I have reduced it to somewhere around two because it would have been too loud for uh, this tutorial purpose. So anyway, let's assume that this is the normal uh, volume of this background music. And uh, when I start speaking somewhere here, Namaskar, kaise aap log? I want this audio to reduce uh, slowly so that uh, my dialogue is much more audible, right? So for that, I can do two things. I can lower down the volume of the entire track by just, uh, uh, you know, highlighting any clip and then with this slider, I can turn it down. And as you can see, this waveform will also affect uh, what you have done to the volume control, right? So, but uh, this will lower down the volume of the entire thing and, and we don't want that. So let's undo that. What else we can do is make a cut and then highlighting it and lowering down the volume. Let's see the result first, okay? Namaskar, kaise aap log? Okay, so this is ducking, but uh, it is a very sharp uh, transition between the two audio levels or decibel levels, right? So for that, let's undo it a couple of times. Now, when you hover, you will see these arrows coming on any audio clip that you can find. So let's make some points, some keyframe points so that we can reduce the audio in a certain portion of the clip. Okay, so with uh, Alt, let's hold Alt and left click a few times. I've made these two points and let's assume that I want to duck my background music only till this area. Okay, so I'll make two more points. Now I've made these four points because the first one and the last one are going to act as a lock, basically. It is going to freeze the waveforms before and after those points. You will see that in just a second. So when we have made four points, uh, let's hover anywhere in between. When these two arrows appear, let's hold on to the left mouse button and then you can drag it up and drag it down. And as you can see, the first and the last anchor points are acting as a lock. Okay, so I want to reduce the wave and you can see minus 8.82 decibel. So originally it was at minus two around and now I have reduced it further by six decibels and a total at uh, minus eight. Let's make it, in fact, let's make it minus 10 around. Okay. And when you additionally hold on to shift, you can adjust it very smoothly with much more precision. So let's make it minus 10. Okay, that seems all right to me. Let's see the effect. Namaskar, Okay, that's smooth. And then it will rise up. So this is the way of tucking your audio in a professional manner. Now you can also, uh, you know, make this transition smoother, but let's not get into that just in this video, okay? Uh, if you haven't checked out my previous video or this whole series, then do make sure to check it out. 
subscribe uh, if you are liking the content and uh, recommend to me in the comment section below what can I make in the upcoming episodes. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.